Hello, friends, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories. So we're still trying to defeat Kaiba. I, we already got two wins on him, still three to go, but clearly my deck needs a little bit of an extra buff. So I dueled Espa at the end of the last episode, so I'm going to duel some of the other Tier 2 duelists here. Uh, I'm not going to make it the whole episode, but I'm going to see if I can still get a couple of wins off these guys and maybe a couple of new cards. See what happens anyway, and any losses still buff my deck capacity, and I'm at a good stage uh, now because uh, I realized that my dual level was at 200, which means I can start including some pretty decent cards in my deck if I've got the space. So I'm going to see how well that goes. Uh, I should have... I should have thought that... Uh, it wasn't gonna work. This flower, Oslo hero, this is not going the way I thought it was going to. Help. Help. <laughs> this was not how I thought it was gonna go. Um, oh man, that'd be one buffed up pumpkin. But I can't get it on the field because too strong. I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> this was not how I wanted it to go. Oh look, a monster I could actually beat. Oh no, too many dungeon worms filling up my hand. So look at those life points. If you saw those in a real game of Yu-Gi-Oh, like, something crazy went down or someone's doing bad at math, because you never see something like 7415 life points. And I guess that is due to the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh, as the main card game, does not work in percentages. It only ever works in flat boosts. Oh, okay, that's a possibility. If you played Sinker, maybe... Something can work. Just freeze your field. I was wishful thinking. Unless I got a dark hole. Oh, that's a big no. Plant spellcaster? Plant spellcaster does not work. Finish me off, Rex. I said, finish me off. Don't make it worse. <laughs> Ouch. Just that alone is stronger than a blue eyes at base. That's just scary. Oh, here we go again. I, was doing, I did so well on that last bit against Rex, but oh, here we go again. Yeah, maybe just try to get like one win off of him. Oh my god. Get me pumpkin. I'm gonna try. And the thing is, too, if I can get through this, so it's Ikaboon, chances are very low. But if I can keep Water Dragon Fairy on the field, I should keep the strongest monster. And the chance of that is now virtually zero. Oh yeah, the chance of that is now virtually zero. Oh boy. I do not want to go back and duel tier one opponents again. I feel like I'm past that. Oh. Oh. I'm 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 taking the hit. I'm not wasting Gyoj into this. Dark hole. Dark. Hole, dark, hole, or invisible wire, even. Come on. I believe in you, deck. Well, there's Cherubin. Defend. You know what the rate this is going, right, Geki? Would not be a bad idea in my deck. Although, now my next aim is that brain control. So if I can get brain control in the deck, that helps a lot. Especially for tributes. Okay. 
Dark hole or bust. Oh, it had to be your B. All right, the loss is mine. But I got 10 more deck capacity, so I'm fine with this outcome. All these losses will make me stronger in the end. Stronger, I say. Okay. Well, let's just move along here and face off against Weevil. See if I can get anything against his insect deck, even though I am not running any eradicating aerosol. Ooh, boy. Well, I got invisible wire, that's a start. Big insects buffed up. That would let me keep a monster on the field, but I don't think that would do me any good. Yurubi, can you tear through this insect? You cannot. Oh. I gotta... I gotta play the trap. If you tribute one monster, I should be okay. I am not. Gilly's Beetle. Oh boy. This is very clearly not going well. Oh, yeah, and you're at... Oh man, that... Those stats! This is not how I wanted it to go! <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, it's at times like these where I feel like my deck needs to go through, like, a major overhaul and just, like, settle on a theme and work with it. Can this make Bean Soldier? It can make Bean Soldier! Okay. <laughs> That's just kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it's just low enough that it, it gets up to Bean Soldier. But, yeah, I wish I could go and, like, re-maneuver my deck and put in a bunch of, like, new cards to help accentuate, like, the flow of the play and, like, buff up my monsters and, like, a clear theme. But this early era Yu-Gi-Oh, you can't really do that. Like, it... The way I've... I always say it, is that early Yu-Gi-Oh! was like the card game war. Where it's, if you just have the, if you have the highest monsters, you're gonna have a natural advantage. Like this situation, where it's like, oh, like I've got nothing that can beat that buffed up Hercules Beetle, then Weevil's just got the game. So, like, that's why I really like that it's monsters, magics, and trap cards, because it's like, oh, the game is, like, it's never guaranteed, but... It, you almost want to have more magic cards in your deck to be able to actually start, like, helping you generate your advantage. But very early Yu-Gi-Oh! was not good for that. Like, you had your buff-up spells, but, like, like Dark Hole, Raigeki, like, those are good cards. I just don't have access to them until my duelist level gets to where they need to go. Now, of course, like, I've got a dark hole in my deck, and I'm very grateful that I'm at that stage. But that's all I got, and that's one of my 40 cards. So my my deck right now, like, it needs to hit a new tier of strength. But in order to do that, like, I think the best best thing for it is to get more magic and trap cards to take things off of my opponent's field. Like, compensate for my lack of power with more strategy, basically. And I can only do that in so many situations. Like, the, the higher level cards that I've got in my deck, so like my Clown Zombie, my Celtic Guardian, any of the monsters that I've got in that relative strength range, they're doing great. Like, I would love to have these cards stay in my deck. And I do have access to a couple of fusions, so it's it's working. But in order for that to stay the case, that's a big problem. Okay, I should be able to win this turn. Watch, this is Stone Soldier. Nope, Tomazaurus. So I think that's a win. 
Oh my goodness, I actually can win. All right. I want to... Again. Test things out. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, we gotta win. It only took a few duels, but I gotta win. Maybe I'll get something good out of you. Oh, and of course, it had to be a ritual that I can't really play. And Wing Trumpeter is an equip that I can't really fit in my deck. Like, what's my capacity at right now? It's nearly at a thousand. I'm at a stage where if I get rid of 15 points worth of cards, I could put one equip in my deck. I never said the deck capacity thing was perfect. I just like it as a as a relative showing of like your deck's strength. So maybe an equip in my deck will help me out, but that's that is a lot to consider. Like Beast Fangs might be the best thing that my deck can feasibly put in that benefits a lot of monsters. And that's saying a lot. Oh, look for a tribute. Hannibal Necromancer. Okay. Okay, well, nothing I've got can naturally beat it. So I'm going to freeze you. That way you can't shift it into defense. Or even attack with it. That's what I want. Good. Nemeriko stays on the field. And it allows me to do this. Alright. Okay, the worst that can be is Gear Golem. Let's test it. Gear Golem, right? Yep. Only 200 points. No big deal. What will you do? Just defend. Alright. Okay, well this is where I would really hope Forest shows up. <laughs> I still think that's pretty hilarious for uh, Bolt Penguin. Okay. Not just yet, though. Oh, that would possibly give me Flower Wolf. That's another good one. All right, get out of here, Dragon Piper. All defense. Celtic Guardian, okay. Flower Wolf. Penguin go here. Magician girl. Okay, if I can get something that can break through his field, that would be good. Let's do Yurby. Why not? Maybe I'll just keep you in attack mode. Maybe Seeker will be stupid enough, but I don't think so. Nope, you'll just play a different Earth monster, but that does mean I can get damage. Okay. Does Spellcaster plus Plant give me anything? Nope. I'll learn those eventually. If I stick to playing old Yu-Gi-Oh games that have that fusion mechanic, then maybe that's something I should learn. Oh wow, you were actually uh, silly enough to attack. That's fine by me though, because that means I can get a bunch of damage going on you. Hey, maybe you'll be silly enough to try it again. It's a 
good hit, though. I like that. Okay, what are you gonna do? Attack me, attack me, attack me, attack me, attack me. Thank you! Okay, this is making playing Dark Hole again a very viable thing. I almost don't want to play Eat Kaboom. There we go. Ooh, I could try this. Set Dungeon Worm down. Maybe you'll attack the Dungeon Worm with something and kill yourself. Nope. Worth a shot, though. Okay. Now here's a fun one. Are dinosaurs treated as dragons? They are not. Maybe it's only a crawling dragon that has that distinction. Because, like, dinosaur, but has dragon in name, so its subtype is dragon. That's what I was afraid of. However, that does open your field up if you attack. Ooh, I just need something with a thousand, and I can, I can win this duel. And hey, look at that. I've got plenty of options. Let's do this! Okay, <laughs> it took a bit. Got another win. Another Lamboon, which I really can't do much with because it's a tribute monster. <laughs> Tremendous fire. Because I, I think I remember saying this earlier. Uh, Tremendous fire originally would be 5,000 damage, hence why its deck cost is max. But in this, it's only 1,000, and it's terrible. So yeah, don't don't run those. Like tremendous fire if you have extremely excessive amounts of deck capacity, but don't run the other ones. All right, let's try a duel in Arcana here. I won't have last day of witch, so this won't uh, benefit me too much. But maybe I can make something. Warrior plus pyro. Would that give me flame swordsman? Please tell me it does. It does give Flame Swordsman. Okay, that was one of those like in the back of my head, does it do it kind of things. Oh, I feel so good. And there's no way it's getting uh, getting caught by Eekaboon. Okay. Please sacrifice something for Doll of Demise. I would be very grateful. Oh, I need... I need the ability to pass 1700 naturally. <laughs> or just more spells to help me out. Is that too much to ask? Okay, at least I've frozen those ones. That's gonna help, though. Yeah, it would have really only helped if I had kept a monster on the field. It's like, come on, summon a dark magician. Summon the dark magician. Wow. Okay. You apparently listened to what I wanted you to do. Now I just need a way out of this predicament. And the answer to that is going to be a resounding maybe? Ah, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Alright, I don't think I'm beating Arcana, so I'm just going to take matters into my own hands. Should be enough. You should be able to finish me off. So just go ahead and do it. All right. Well, I'm currently more of a loser than a winner this episode, but you know, judging by everything that's going on, I kind of need the uh, extra buff for my capacity. Okay. 
Well, if I took out 55 points of something, that would let me put in brain control. Well, maybe I need to do, like, a humongous deck rework, <laughs> just to kind of, like, maneuver around some cards a little bit. But having a lot of extra deck capacity would be probably to my benefit. So let's do a few duels on Kaiba. Maybe I'll get something to work for me. All right. Come on, summon a La Jin, summon a La Jin. La Jin, La Jin, La Jin. No, I got horsemen. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're 13? Yep. Freeze! Oh good, at least I prevented you from doing a rabid horseman fusion. Alright, I need to have the fusion ready to go, so... Just set you up here. And I'll put you in defense. Oh, oh, oh! Did I do something good? Did I do something good? Yeah! That's how you do it! Go Karibo's cousin! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful! <laughs> and just because of that, I have the advantage. That's just glorious. <laughs> no wonder Karibo was able to defeat Blue Eyes in the anime by technicality. Okay, you're better off as a defense on the first turn, so we'll keep you with that. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, if I, if I can just get a monster in my deck with over 2,000 attack on the first turn, I should be okay for beating any of Kaiba's cards. Oh, and I got Darkhold to back me up now too? That's just awesome. Okay. Yeah, you can play... You can play cards I don't like. Invader's good. Alright. Alright, next turn, defeat. Ooh, that's right on the money for Black Dragon. I figured you'd do something to win there, but I should have the game here. Definitely. Go, my dragon! <laughs> so maybe that's what I need to do. I just have to bait out a blue eyes with a wretched ghost, and <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we ghost. All right. I, oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> seeing Kaiba get defeated like that. And another musician king. Okay. And eternal drought. Oh. I don't need to go against fish. That's going against Mako, and I can defeat Mako easily. Okay, let's try another duel against Kaiba. Maybe if I just keep, uh... <laughs> if I'm just lucky with Wretched Ghosts, I should be okay. Oh, and I've got one in my hand ready to go. Okay. La Jin. La Jin. La Jin. La Jin. Ah, every time I say that, it's Mystic Horseman. But the difference here is I can defeat a Mystic Horseman this time. Okay, that's a start. No surprise. It's like you were ready to do that fusion or something. Okay, we're gonna go with defense. Ouch. Yeah, I think if I'm looking at the math right here, I think a lot of the burn spells were, like, I think they were cut by a factor of five, I think. Steel Ogre, near Earth. 
What are the chances you would double tribute that for something better? I have an idea. It's a crazy one, but I have an idea. Okay, I was right to assume you weren't going to double tribute. Okay. If I can hold out long enough, maybe I could not only get an out, but maybe I can make you summon blue eyes again? Maybe if I can just keep digging through my cards a little bit. Yeah, what would make you summon a blue eyes? That's what I'm curious about. Either you have the card, or... I have, I, I'm going on a miracle hope here that he goes for blue eyes and lets me keep Doron on the field. Nope. That didn't work. That didn't work in the slightest. I mean, at the very least, I have something that can beat Yakateno, but it's not gonna work. Memorico, go. You be a pseudo-sword to revealing light. Oh man, I can't wait for the day I can actually put that in my deck. With all these losses I'm getting, that's soon. Okay. I'm taking something with me! Oh. Now that I've weakened your power ceiling on the field, please be stupid enough to summon blue eyes! Nope. Hey, Sword Stalker. Hey, you've got a lot of tribute monsters in your deck. Yeah, it's like Steel Ochre, Judge Man, Gakateno, Rabbit Horseman. Now we got Sword Stalker and Blue Eyes. Man, if I get lucky enough again, maybe I could have him uh, start with a hand just full of tribute monsters. All right, what am I? What am I working with still? Oh man. All right. I'm gonna go one more duel against Kaiba. If I win, maybe I'll do one more to try to go for number five, but I'll go for one more duel, see what happens. Uh. Well, let's go Invader. Oh, double Hinotama. Oh! Hello, were my wishes granted? Oh, I don't want to... Yeah, Crawling Dragon. Just go Crawling Dragon. Just get the damage on board. That's a start. Two Hinotamas and two, three high-level monsters. And he drew a fourth. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. I'm gonna go Armored Zombie, because I could put a Pumpkin on the field next turn if need be. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that worked! <laughs> I mean, I've got monsters on the fields for not only to tribute, but I still have the extra forces afterwards if I have to do a solid... Oh my! Wow! He could... Something's looking out for me this duel, and I'm thankful. Boom! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one, but that's a win I will take. All right. Oh, please. If, if we're going to keep going with the let's, let's give me what I'm asking for, can I please have a crush card virus? Well, Gyakutano Megami is a thing. Monsters with attack power less than 500 will power up. See, I almost want to put you in the deck, not for the effect, but for the, uh, uh, stat line. And it's also the first fairy I've gotten, too. Hey, Fortress Whale's Oath. Okay. I am actually going to put in the Gyakuteno. Uh, just to give my deck one extra buff. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of Book. And, yeah, you are 1800. Yakuteno is now in my deck. 
All right. Well, I was not expecting that duel to go like that, but that just means I only have to win one more time. Maybe I can eat that out in a couple of duels if I'm lucky? So why don't I try this and find out? Okay, best play is... Ugh, what is the best play? I gotta save uh, Wretched Ghost, so... Yamatano, it's up to you. <laughs> Please say you got a bunch of tributes again. Ah, uh... <laughs> I can't get lucky every time. All right, Kiwagata, Yervi. And the thing is, too, Gyakuteno isn't necessarily the best tribute monster to have because he can get all of those super strong cards, and La Jin can beat it both by attribute and outright tie. Alright, Old Penguin does me no good. Alright, Sword Stalker. Are you a fiend or a shadow? You're a fiend, but you are also under the invisible wire. So I'm going to keep you in attack mode. What do you play? You play the card you drew. It got rid of a strong card, and arguably it got rid of a harder one for me to deal with, so I'm okay with this. Dancing. Oh. That's even better. Because now I can tie the Sword Stalker. Okay. Let's do this. Penguin, I'll have you be defense. So yeah, if I can keep Sword Stalker at bay for one turn, I can keep advantage going. There's Gyojin. Okay. Are you going to suicide strike your sword stalker, or are you going to let it stay on the field? What say you, Kaiba? He let it stay! Okay. Well, that's even better, because Gyojin can beat it now. <laughs> Dark Elf for the win! 80? Okay, good. Oh, there we go, there we go. See, this is why I would have been fine getting a second Dancing Elf, because this everything's just turning up great at this point. Oh man, win number five? Is this gonna happen? Take a huge chunk out of your life points with this one. Anything. Okay, okay, this is good. This is very good. Just take out what's on the field first. And I think we've got the game! Thank you, well-timed Dark Elf. Five wins. Five wins. We actually managed to get five wins on Kaiba. Okay, Crush Card Virus, please. That's just as good! I will take a Dark Fire Dragon. I will gladly put a Dark Fire Dragon in my deck. Oh, that's... that's even better. Yeah, I'll take that. So let's... I'm gonna go put that in my deck now before I forget. Uh, we're gonna take out Chrono Lord. We'll be putting in the Dark Fire Dragon. Okay. But more importantly, all tier two duelists have been defeated five times. Amazingly. So now we have access to the tier three duelists Paradox, Priest Seto, Slishin, or Hayashin, and Ishizu. So, how many times am I going to lose to this group of four? Well, we're going to find out on the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. Those were some 
pretty wicked duels at the end there with Kaiba. And uh, hopefully there will be more on the next episode. So as I always say, take care, stay safe, and have a good day. <laughs>